Given theta equals 210 degrees, determine the following. We're asked to find the reference angle, as well as the quadrant of the terminal side, and then determine the six trig function values. Let's first sketch the angle in standard position, where the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and because the angle is positive, we rotate counterclockwise 210 degrees. Well, half a rotation counterclockwise is 180 degrees, and therefore, we need to rotate another 30 degrees counterclockwise to determine the terminal side of 210 degrees, which would be approximately here. So here is 210 degrees in standard position. The reference angle is the acute angle formed by the terminal side and the x-axis, which is this angle here, because 210 degrees minus 180 degrees is equal to 30 degrees. We know the reference angle is 30 degrees, this angle here. So we know the reference angle is 30 degrees. The quadrant of the terminal side is quadrant three. Remember this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So the terminal side is in quadrant three. And now to find these six trig function values, let's first use a reference triangle, and then we'll verify the results using the unit circle. So let's sketch the reference triangle for 310 degrees, which is this triangle here. Notice how we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and therefore we can label the legs with length one and square root three, and the hypotenuse with a length of two. But because we're in the third quadrant where both x and y are negative, both legs will be negative. So the longer leg, or the leg across from the 60 degree angle, is negative square root three because x is negative, and the leg opposite the 30 degree angle is going to be negative one because y is negative in the third quadrant, and the hypotenuse is always positive, the hypotenuse has a length of two. And now let's find these six trig function values using the reference triangle. The sine of 210 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is negative one divided by two, or negative one half. Cosine 210 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is negative square root three divided by two. Tangent 210 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is negative one divided by negative square root three, which simplifies to one divided by square root three. We will come back later and rationalize the denominator. And now to find the cosecant function value, we could find the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, but we can also just recognize that the cosecant function value is equal to the reciprocal of the sine function value. If we use the reference triangle, the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side is two divided by negative one, which is equal to negative two. But notice how negative two is the reciprocal of the sine function value of negative one half. Secant 210 degrees is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side, or it's also the reciprocal of the cosine function value. So using the reference triangle, we have two divided by negative square root three, which again, notice how this is the reciprocal of the cosine function value. Let's go and write this as just negative two divided by square root three. And again, we'll rationalize the denominator in a moment. And then finally for cotangent 210 degrees, using the reference triangle, we can find the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, or we can also just find the reciprocal of the tangent function value. Using the reference triangle, the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side is negative square root three divided by negative one, which is equal to positive square root three, which again, notice is a reciprocal of the tangent function value. Before we go, let's rationalize the denominator of the tangent function value and the secant function value. If we have one divided by the square root of three, to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of three, which gives us square root three divided by three. So we can also express the tangent function value as square root three divided by three. Similarly, we can express the secant function value as negative two square root three divided by three. And now let's find these trig function values again using the unit circle. We know in standard position, the initial side is here along the positive x-axis, and the terminal side is here. 
in the third quadrant. Notice how the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here, where x is equal to negative square root three divided by two, and y is equal to negative one half. Remember on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta, and y equals sine theta. So sine 210 degrees is equal to the y coordinate of negative one half. Cosine 210 degrees is equal to the x coordinate of negative square root three divided by two. Tangent 210 degrees is equal to y divided by x. y divided by x is negative one half divided by negative square root three over two, which is equal to negative one half times the reciprocal of negative square root three divided by two, which is negative two over square root three. Notice how we can simplify before multiplying. There's one, two, and two here and here. Multiplying, we get positive one over square root three, which we know from the previous slide. If we rationalize the denominator is equal to square root three divided by three. Cosecant 210 degrees is equal to the reciprocal of the sine function value. The reciprocal of negative one half is equal to negative two. Secant 210 degrees is equal to the reciprocal of the cosine function value. The reciprocal of negative square root three divided by two is negative two over square root three which we know if we rationalize the denominator is equal to negative two square root three over three. And then finally, cotangent 210 degrees is equal to the reciprocal of the tangent function value. The reciprocal of one over square root three is just square root three over one or square root three. So whether we use the unit circle or a reference triangle, we do get the same six trig function values. I hope you found this helpful.